Did Gorilla Tech just leak the next potential map? Well, in today's video, I'll be going over all of that news. So I say we get right into it. What, what does that say? I think it says some, some extremely important news of the day. Gorilla Tech has actually officially changed their message of the day that you don't usually change it after they bring an update out. As you can see here, it says, So the mischievous monkeys dug a hole and didn't tell us. The cheek of it. I, I don't really know what that means. I'm also not the most grammatically correct person. This isn't your typical adventure. This is a wild, unknown place where things might be broken and unfinished. But more importantly, fun. I almost said move. Enter at your own risk with an exclamation mark. This is a unique opportunity. After a few weeks, it might vanish or be replaced by something new. Hinting towards every couple weeks, so every update Friday, they will be changing the rotating map. So hopefully each time we get something new. And I think they will also be using it to idealize um, trial maps. So if they want to bring a big map into the game, they will just make a mini version of it. And if everyone likes it, then they will go forward with making an actual map. I think it's, I think it's actually been a really great idea on their part. Also, stick around to the end so we can kind of go over this. Uh, lately, this thing has been a big point of news coverage, and I like to cover it too, so... We'll We'll cover that closer to the end. Also, I don't know if you guys completely noticed this yet, but Gorilla Tag with the new updates had new light effects come into force. Now it's actually darker in here. I mean, it's like a darkish pink. And as you can see, Gorilla Tag did also bring out the winter flashback with a sign that says that it's actually up on the second floor because obviously there's so many uh, new items. I think this is everyone's favorite flashback just because of the classical items like the toque, the ice, uh, icicle, and penguin. Like, I just really like the penguin. I think I'd name him like Pablo the penguin or something because that's actually a good name for him. Also, if you're ever trying to do a robbery heist, then just buy this too. This is how Pablo feels about the new swamp update. And yes, the science experiment updates will be sticking around for about another two weeks until the next update comes out, since everyone is loving them so much, and the science map is also staying for a little bit too. I also kind of have the slightest of feelings that they're going to be using the science map as a rotating mini map as well, because they've already had a dungeon map there, so now I think every update they'll change that one too. I think that'd be cool, because then you could go to a big map and then go back to a mini map. So in the message of the day, Gorilla Tag is talking exactly about this, the unstable tunnel, and it's the destination that will change without warning. And if there isn't warnings, I will be the one warning you, but we have a good two weeks before this one changes. Whee! Slowest slide of all history. What the heck? Wait, guys, I'm paused in the middle of the slide. I paused myself in the middle of the slide. Now watch this. Whee! Guys, I paused myself, but I'm going down. Whee! So yes, in the message of the day, Gorilla Tech does blatantly state that this is a janky map, not very well done. It is so that they can test developers and test good ideas. So let's say everyone liked this map, they'd probably bring it into an actual map, but I don't think everyone likes this. It's kind of like a forest died. That's kind of what I get from this. It's like a dead forest. When I swing on this rope, it doesn't it, it doesn't look like it's swinging with me, but it is. So I can like heat also like look and the lily pads give you a giant boost also i feel like just yesterday doug the bug was not this uncovered i feel like he's slowly getting more and more uncovered so maybe we'll we'll be able to see doug the bug again now why does my thumbnail have a thing saying mines on it here is exactly why now like i said earlier in the video there's a giant crack in this ice right here and it's kind of suspicious Meaning this is a potential entrance to a new map, so like it could be that it opens up slowly till the point where we have a big opening that we can all hop down. And I feel like with these air vessels, it'll be some sort of like tunnel system, kind of like with the clouds map and with the new rotating map, you get sucked down and then you'll get took into, I hope, a new mines map. Like we never got mines when caves got revamped. We did get a new cave. I like the OG caves where it was all open, a bunch of big crystals. And when you went down those two skulls on the side, there was mines. And it, I think this could be a secondary entrance to caves. We don't know what it is going to be yet. But what I do know is every two weeks, it'll get bigger, and I will slowly make more news on when it gets bigger. So, is Gorilla Tag actually releasing a new map? Well, technically, yes. Every couple weeks, there will be a new map on rotation that'll change, so get hyped for that. And also, the one with the crack in the ice, we don't officially know if it's going to be a map, but we do know is it's going to slowly open up, so that's something. But I think it is really cool that Gorilla Tag's adding more for every update now, and I think that I might just have to get something from the flashback sale, because lots of those cosmetics are so cool. So, as always, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please don't be afraid to drop a like, and as always, I will see you all later.